Hello everybody, it is The Last Raider. We are back again with another video. And today, today, oh man, you know, just got done seeing uh, Peter Samedi's, uh tweet where he puts out uh, this little statement here about Peter Samedi swatting. Or about his own swatting. And um, let, me, let me start by saying this. This all started because Comic Book Hut's and yes, anti-comics gate. I'm going to get on to you idiots for a moment. You guys put out, based this entire so-called investigation on bull. Okay? Uh, you, you based it on crap. That was it. There, There's nothing else that it was based off of. It was just absolute crap. Uh... Comic Book Huts based this off of a rumor of a website that he heard secondhand from someone else. Never went and checked the site. And this is, let me tell you the difference between you, you guys. Let me tell you the difference between all anti comics gate and an actual journalist. An actual journalist first goes and checks the source. Okay? Didn't see any of that. Didn't see any from uh, Captain Karen. Didn't see any checking of the source from John Delarousse. Uh, you guys were running around trying to find Peter Samedi's docs, <laughs> which is what you were doing. You were trying to find Peter Samedi's docs, and supposedly there was a web. Y'all, y'all base this on supposedly there was a website that was in Peter Samedi's town. This, this was the rumor. They based this entire nonsense on there's a website in Peter Smitty's town that talks about all the police reports and Peter Smitty swatting is not on the website. Yet none of you idiots went to find, never tried to find the website. None of you idiots tried to, you know, I don't know, uh, check the source. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just pointing and laughing at you guys right now because I said this before. There was proof that this had already happened. I mean, y'all look like absolute colossal idiots because you went in there with, with no evidence, basically. And like I said before, this was basically spectral evidence. For those of you who don't know what spectral evidence is, spectral evidence is evidence that was classified when witch trials were brought out. And the churches that classified spectral evidence, they said, no, 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 you can't use spectral evidence because there's no way to prove it. Uh, for, to give you an example of what spectral evidence would have been in a witch trial, some woman would have said, oh, he's looking at me. I feel the fires of hell burning at my heart to make me do sexual things. And that, that's, that's the kind of bullshit. That was, that was spectral evidence. And so... <laughs> For, for those who are wondering, the Salem witch trials was full of spectral evidence. That a lot of people got, man, just people were executed on spectral evidence because. So, and, and here's the thing about spectral evidence: it's usually only brought up historically. If you look, when spectral evidence would have been brought up, it was because someone wanted to go after someone else, just like you had here with this entire nonsense. These morons. I mean, I don't know what the freaking end game was supposed to be here, other than. We had a form of Trump derangement syndrome known as Ethan derangement syndrome. And they were like, well, you know, uh, this has got to be real. We've got our evidence right here. And they went after Peter Sometti, thinking they were going to prove something. It's, it's basically a Russia gate or Kavanaugh. Everything that the Democrats are doing right now in office, that's what these idiots did. Captain Karen, John Delarousse, comic book huts. They went out there to go after Peter Samedi. And here's the fun part. We all knew there was evidence. We, we even told you guys that there was evidence disproving. There was more evidence proving you were wrong than proving you were right. You were out there trying. You come up with a theory based on a rumor, pretty much. And you went out to prove the rumor correct. It's like saying, we're going to prove that gravity does not exist when any idiot can pick up a rock and say, look, throws it in the air, lets it fall down, it smacks you in the head. 
gravity. <laughs> no, objects don't get pulled back to the earth by some unseen force. That that's what this entire thing was. And we're just kind of like, okay, there was there was a certain point where I was like, or me and some other guys were watching like, yeah, this is this is just y'all so stupid. You're not going to listen. So we're just going to let you guys walk off the cliff. Y'all got to get burned before you learn anything. I don't think you learned anything at all. But I mean, I'm going to say this right now. Y'all went out there and acted like you set some record straight. I mean, I think John Delarue had a tweet up. I was so thankful that Peter Samedi set the record straight for us. Peter Samedi didn't set a record straight. He went out there and proved John Delarue once again as a colossal liar. Captain Cummings as a colossal liar. And Comic Book Huts as a colossal liar. These guys are not people you want to be... I mean, I mean, you can listen to them if you want to, but these are not people you need to trust. Okay? And this isn't an opinion. This is a fact. They were claiming, that, oh, there must be something wrong. There must be something out there. They did this for clicks, and in the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed it, because now you look like colossal douchebags for going out there and saying this about a guy who, mind you, originally had suicidal tendencies. I mean, if y'all have Zoe Quinn's his ass, would y'all have even cared? Probably, you would not have, I, I, I think you guys would have cared. Right up as soon as most of the comic book community had come after you and started doxing your butts for the police to go pick you up for, you know, murder, pretty much. Pushing a guy into suicide. Assisted suicide is what we'll call it. That's what they probably call it. Don't quote me on that. I don't know. But anyway, it's just, it's hilarious because what do we have to glean from all this? That you morons could not do the most simplistic the most simplistic, okay, the most simplistic of investigation. All y'all had to do is go it was go ask whoever it was that told comic book cuts. Go in there and tell him we want to see the site. And he'd be like, well, I don't know if I want it. No, no. You should have gone in there and said, we want to see the site so we don't look like morons afterward. You guys are... You, you, John DeLaRusse apparently thinks he's somehow going to spin this to make himself look good. It's I don't think it's going to. I think that they're all going to try and spin this out. That, oh, you know, we, we got confirmation from him. You No, you didn't. Everyone already knew this existed. You drummed up some stupidity for clicks. And you got your clicks. But then Peter Samedi comes out here and completely blows you guys out of the water. So what now? Y'all going to pick another member of Comics Gate to go after. Or are you going to make up some other bullcrap about Peter Samedi and go after him on that? You're going to say something about the quality of his books or some other nonsense. It's the same dadgum bullcrap. This was an absolute total grift. That's all it was. You guys promised something. You came out here saying that there was something going on behind the scenes. This didn't seem right. And we're going to get to the bottom of it. You didn't get to the bottom of crap. You sat there, either one or two things happened. I said this in an earlier video. One of two things was going on right now. Either A, you morons didn't realize what she's doing, or even worse, you knew what you were doing, and you were using it for clicks. Because I said so the longest time. Where's the fucking website? That's all you would have had to done. We could have avoided this. But I mean, here's the thing. Y'all are saying you appreciate Peter Samedi for setting the record straight. No, 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 no. That's not how this works. You morons go out and apologize to Peter Samedi for your bullshit. Because you leveled false accusations against the man. You assaulted his integrity. And you quite possibly attempted to destroy his business with these false allegations. Just like every other social justice warrior that has ever existed. This is why out of their playbook. Comic book huts. John DeLaRusse. Captain Cummings. If you have any balls, you will publicly apologize to Samedi. There will be no buts. There will be, we messed up, we're sorry, and we will try not to do it again. And you will cease all communications unless you need something from him. 
And honestly, all communications between y'all and Peter Samedi need to be cordial from now on. But we know that's not going to happen because none of you have the balls to own up to your mistake. And that's what this was. A big fucking mistake that none of you can, none, none of you have the guts to come out there and apologize to Peter Samedi for the harm you may have caused him. None of you. You're too cowardly. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the last Raider. Comment about how cowardly you think these people are because that, that's what these are. I'm not going to ask you if they're cowardly. I'm going to tell you they are cowardly. And I don't, I'm, I'm saying that they need to do this. I'm not holding my breath. They will do this. They are simply going to move on to the next grift and they're going to simply go, well, you know, uh, we're doing this over here. Forget about uh, uh, what we did over here. For, for, forget about this mistake over here, guys. Just just, just move on. Just move on. That's what we're going to deal with. But this is what I'm going to tell everybody. I ain't going to forget this. And until these three morons apologize, I ain't going to let them forget about it. Captain Karen done blocked me because he knows what's coming his way. Every time he comes out with something, I'm going to remind him. Remember, folks, these guys said that the Peter, these were the guys that started the Peter Samedi swatting his fake nonsense and were proven to be absolute liars. That's what you guys are. And you don't have the balls to apologize to Peter Samedi. Peter Samedi, my, my thing to you is, thanks for staying with us, brother. And uh, if they come back after you again, there's at least one YouTuber out there and I'm, I'm not saying that I'm the only one, but I'm saying you got at least one YouTuber that's going to step up here and defend you when it comes down to it. Anyway, be sure to tell me what you think in the comments, folks. Like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit that bell for notification for more information coming from me. Uh, I'm probably going to start doing some comic book reviews here before long because I did one a while back, and that went over pretty good. But anyway, stay safe, stay frosty, folks, and I'll see you guys in the next video.